Hi, I'm Dr. Sunny with Bright Ideas on Public Speaking. Why do today what you can do tomorrow? You'd think this is our national motto if you looked around social media. In fact, procrastination is so common that a 2007 study by the University of Calgary found that up to 95% of college students procrastinate. Duh. Procrastination is totally a good thing. You always have something to do tomorrow and nothing to do today. And that works pretty well for some things, but not for public speaking. As a matter of fact, in public speaking, a better way of looking at procrastination is to remember that today is the tomorrow that you worried about yesterday. And that worry can have negative effects. Procrastinators earn lower scores in college, and they often think they did better on their assignments than they actually did. A data mining study into homework submissions in a chemistry class found that students who submit their work the day before the due date score on average three points lower than their classmates. Want to know the sweet spot for getting the highest grade? They say submitting three days before a deadline. But enough about deadlines. Identifying the source of your procrastination is critical in tricking your brain and giving a good speech. Many students procrastinate because of fear. You can learn more about that in my communication apprehension videos. Another major source of college student procrastination? You guessed it, social media. Research by Stop Procrastinating, a productivity app, found that 64% of college students said they procrastinate on their schoolwork when they get an alert while studying. How can you beat this type of procrastination? I recommend making your public speaking class a bigger part of your online life. Download the Canvas app, set up the notifications so they'll pop up on your phone, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and follow my Twitter. Integrating your identity as a public speaker with your regular habits will make it much more difficult for you to procrastinate and avoid your speech. And for most of us, the best way to get things done is simply to begin. In preparing a speech, you begin with practice and preparation. And those are two of the three P's for successful public speaking. The third, you guessed it, don't procrastinate. In my next video, I'll share secrets for a speech that will help you impress your audience.